Hi guys, this is Elaine from CT Valley Girl Gardens and today I'm going to share with you guys a small Walmart haul video, grocery haul video. Um, I literally just came back from Walmart and I just want to share with you guys what I saw at Walmart today. But um, before I do that, let me just sh um, share with you the cans that I already have been collecting here and then I have another 12 pack of the pints on top of my cabinet way up there but I'm, I don't want to climb up there if you hear some noise in the kitchen just excuse me my daughter's just trying to get her dinner which is totally fine right guys <laughs> so I'm trying to make this video quick because I'm so busy with the kids for school and tomorrow my, I have a double shift with my grandson so I'm literally not gonna be home I'm gonna watch him at his house because it's gonna be a long day from 9 a.m. to 8 30 a.m. to 10 p.m. so yeah so I wanted to, I'm excited to share this video with you guys. So I went today to Walmart and I went straight to the, um, what's today, October 7th. I went straight to the uh, canning aisle and um, I, my surprise, uh, let me just show you what I found. I have three here. And these are the three that I bought at Walmart for today. And my daughter took me the pint jars the 12 packs so I was very lucky to find these three that didn't have any other size now I remember my video I just made the one before this one um, I was showing you uh, my shopping haul and my um, the supplies I found at Walmart with the canning supplies and um, I have th I, I have three packs of the regular size I think last time I said I had two and two of each no it's three of the regulars so that's like 36 lids and I have one of the white mouth because I only have two set of 12s of the white mouth. So I only have one of these, which I need more. So remember my last video, I told you they had, and you should, you could look at also my picture of the video. You can see that there's a, like two boxes this big of these lids and, um, and one of this one. Well, and they had two of the regular size. Well, today they're gone. There's nothing. And, um, no, the lucky I bought that pressure canner because I don't think I saw a pressure canner as well, but I did see these cans and I'm very lucky I bought them. And my daughter's like, mom, why are you keep buying those cans? This is my eldest daughter who does not understand, um, why I'm doing this. So yeah, I have to hear from that all the time from her, but we got to keep doing what's best for you and your family, even though if they don't agree. So I went shopping to Walmart today, and let me tell you, my last video, um, you know the sh the shopping video I shared with you that I recorded the store at the aisles as I was shopping. Um, the oil aisle, the uh, the oils were very low when I had went um, that last time when I did that video, right? Well, a week or two ago. I didn't look at it before this. I made this video, guys, because I want to hurry up and make this video because I want to make dinner. But go check it out. So I went today, guys, and it's in the same condition. And that worried me. And I'm going to share some things that uh, with you what worried me, what I saw today. So I went and uh, they didn't have the, the Walmart brand canola uh, oil. They were all gone. They only had the vegetable. And they had the Wilson one. But it was like a dollar more. dollar, almost $2 more. So No, it was over $2 more. So I just said, no, it's a gallon. I'm just going to get this for now. Um... And then I went and bought a pack of the Walmart brand one, uh, 16 of these toilet papers. Okay. So I bought a pack of these. Um, and I was not planning to buy a pack of those. But when I saw what I saw at Walmart, I said, let me just grab a pack. Ever since March or April, I had enough toilet paper until now. I still have about one, two, four three more for at least for three months supply so i bought one pack this will be for another month supply four months supply and usually before the pandemic i always buy four months supplies of toilet paper and they had toilet paper it's just a lot of gaps guys a lot of empty gaps nothing their toilet paper area has some toilet paper but they had huge gaps of of uh you know, and their shelves for toilet paper as well. Now, the part that worried me was when I went last time, they had so many paper towels, lots of paper towels. If you go check out my video of me walking around with the camera in the store, 
well today they only had these and uh this is the the everyday stores walmart these two packs this is all they had they didn't have nothing else and guys i'm gonna tell you they have very little of this and that worried me then i went and got gatorade this time because last time they didn't have gatorade and it's always good to have gatorades um because of the edge electrolytes so i got one today they had a few packs they had enough gatorade not a lot like they usually do but they had enough okay and i've been watching your y'all videos and you know you're in seeing what i should be stocking up on although i think i bought these because of the hurricane we're having another strong one hitting mexico already hit mexico i'm not sure i haven't watched the news but it was supposed to be a very bad one and so they says you know i heard to i didn't have paper plates so i bought these i was gonna wait and say let me go to the dollar store but i think the dollar store i didn't want to take my chance so these were three something now last time i went they didn't have plastic forks and spoons they ran out but now they did have some very little but they did have some and i said you know what i get like i think a hundred of them and one pack at walmart for a dollar so i'm gonna go i mean dollar tree so i'm gonna go over there and get that at dollar tree i'm trying to just pinch some money here and there I'm trying to save money here and there because i really don't have a lot of money so um so that is my haul for today i bought some other groceries i bought <clears throat> plant milk <clears throat> the walmart brand i bought another juice of the splash i have two now because the kids drank all my other juice and um and i bought some eggs and turkey okay small grocery haul now let me tell you what worried me so I'm gonna take these off because it's showing blue on the glass but no, just excuse my appearance i just had a busy day with the kids and i had to run to walmart when my daughter run back because she just came out of work and didn't want to be too long at Walmart. So I had to rush, 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 rush. So, um, the, let's start with the, the last time I went, the flowers. Um, they had pretty amount of good of the big, 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 what is that? 20 pound of flowers. They only had two left. They have the small bags, just a few. The sugars, they're okay with the sugars. Um, also, um, the potatoes, the dry potato stubs, uh, flakes, um, mm, they have very little, very little. And um, the canning goods, the chicken in a can, they have less now. Um, also, I went to the canning aisle. There are some gaps there still, but they did have some um, canning goods in the aisles like your... Um, your bean your chili um beans and um um a lot of other different can even canned vegetables they had so they had a good stock amount of that but still again some gappy areas the peanut butter was uh uh it was it was uh bared they had a few but i think i have enough peanut butter to last me till next year but um the meat section was good uh, not too much bacon and I was trying to find bacon for my daughter but uh, the bacon was like $8 there was some I saw some prices change um, with the bacon with some of them were $8 some of them were 6 they didn't have the Walmart brand um, yeah eggs they have very little now we are in the beginning of the month I'm not sure if that's why but still the oil was in the same um uh, the same condition as I found it about a week or two ago the rice guys the rice the rice the rice was 120 pound of, of, of rice when I went last time again they didn't have the big bag of rice um, so the rice was bare and they had a they had beans um, so my concern was that they were hardly no when I saw the paper towels I was like, whoa, what is going on here? Because the last time I went, they had lots of paper towels. And now they didn't. Um, so when I um, saw the juices, when I saw certain dry foods, um, I did have some concern. The meat is still good. 
the produce area that never they never win low on produce in my store ever i don't know why that is right but the produce they're doing very well now i think that because we are hitting the cooler climate here and so people are scared about getting the coronavirus because in the summer when you're outdoors the the sun the heat of the sun kills it but now we're getting into cooler weather so i'm not sure if people are started to panic buy or they're really prepping right now um i got very nervous and i was like I'm dipping into savings, but I, I think that this is very important for me to get because I'm going to start canning my meats. And when my daughter said to me, why do you keep buying those cans? Don't you got enough in the house? I said, yeah, but those are already going to be occupied. I need, I said, it's not only for meats, you know, your dry goods, crackers, you know, I try to explain it to her. But um, sugar, you know, um, whatever you want to store in here. Um... But I'm doing it for me because we're still in hurricane season. And if my light goes out again, I want to make sure that I have some meat in cans. And I wouldn't have to worry about meats. And um, I urge you guys, if you see any of these, if you see any of the mason jars, grab them. Uh, I was very lucky. Last time I left one. For, see, God is good. Because last time I left one for someone. And I went today and found three. And there were people. Two people not out. But they weren't interested in it. And so at first I grabbed one. And then I said, okay, okay. I'll just grab one. And then I went back and grabbed the other two. And I was like, you know what? I started doing the math in my fingers. And I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to grab them all. You know, it's going to be like 20 something dollars for these three. So that's fine. I could put it back. But I would have grabbed more of these too if they had them, but they didn't. So like I said, it was a blessing that I found two of these that day and one of the bigger lids. Yeah, it was a blessing. So guys, just, um, I couldn't record because my daughter was rushing me. So I took a few pictures. They're going to be, um, I guess when you see it on my channel, I'll, I'll put it in the front of the video. So please, um stock up um my apartment's getting tight i don't know <sighs> i have to clean out one of the closets and i want to get rid of that back area and that's going to be uh storage for my canned goods also i have plans of putting out some shelves and a uh, laundry closet i have to put more cans in there um i gotta do it soon because i have to move those cans i have in my daughter's room because the ac was there and i have to move them into the closet so um i have to do that soon um it's a little crowded here but i don't care i want to be safe um in case we're gonna in case we have another lockdown you never know so i just wanted to share this with you guys let me know down comment down below and let me know if, how your stores are are they in the same condition um i saw a youtuber who had a list of um, tj prep check out her channel tj prep um, she, I will put her uh, link of her channel down below. But she has a list of things that the stores are already running out that she collected from other preppers. So one of them was oil. And then when she mentioned oil, I was like, oh my gosh, that's why the oil was, the shelves were bare that day. Um, and then I went today and it was in the same condition. So oil is a good fat to have. I guess people are stocking up on it because, um. Uh, we all need fat in our body so yeah so um that's why i make this video for you guys if you see it just grab it i wish i could find the um what is it the the quart jars i only have one which is right here and i have two sets of the half gallon ones but they already have like rice in them so what i'm gonna do is um I have 24 of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a five-gallon bucket from Walmart again from the bakery aisle, bakery section. And I'm going to fill that rice in there. And then I'm going to use those jars just to store other foods. Because you can't find the half-a-gallon ones anymore. 
and you can't find the quart jars. So that's why if I see the pint pint ones, I'm gonna grab them. It's just me and my daughter. I mean, I probably could only fit two or three pieces of chicken in here, or maybe four, depending how big it is. Um, because I can I can them in pint jars. So I think I fit it about three or four in there. Depends how big it is, the chicken pieces. So. Um, and if, you know, if they don't fit, I could always chop them up and put it in there. But anyways, guys, this is, um, I don't want to take too long, but this is, the, this is, um, I just want to make this quick video to let you guys know what I saw. And, uh, it's alarming to me, but I'm going to keep my cool and my calm. And I got to remember what the word of God says is to not, um, be in distress, to not worry of what you're going to eat, where, um, and, um, live. But. You know that doesn't mean that you don't have to be you don't you don't have to be prepared yes you do but i'm just saying i'm not going to go into a panic mode but um i do have to get myself organized and get everything organized um and soon hopefully if my cameras let me i will do a canning video if my camera gives me a hard time it keeps shutting off on me i'm gonna have to can those stuff and then show you what i did but I would like to do a canning video with you guys with my new Presto uh, pressure cooker canner. And that will not be until probably next week because um, I have to, I'm busy this week. So yeah, it will probably won't be until next week. But yeah, guys, um, I did want to let you know that I did decided that I'm going to take down the garden. And so I am going to talk about that with you in my next video on my videotape why are we doing it i don't know um but um yeah i'll talk to you about that in my next video guys and um please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and um my name is elaine if you're a new viewer and this channel is just about um almost everything that has to do with gardening um you know canning prepping grocery hauls um, thrift store hauls and cooking which I failed three times trying to make a video in the cooking rice trying to show you my Spanish cooking my Spanish rice and the camera keeps turning off guys but I'm gonna try to figure it out I think I have too much stuff in it and I'm gonna have to put all these I don't know over a thousand pictures I have in a CD so yeah guys and I have a memory card there but it's eating it up so um, I have another camera that no one's using we it's brand new it's a Canon camera, but I have to mess around with it to see how it works. I could try that. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video. And please um, take care of yourself. Keep prepping. Keep prepping. Keep prepping. All right. Um, be careful out there. I just want to wish you guys all the best. God bless you and your family. And have a great day. Bye for now. Adios. Bye.